Hi, welcome to clickmeproject.com. Now let me discuss about the title of the process. Our project title is Prediction of Diabetes Stresses Using Herbivore Selecting Method. The main objective of this method is, uh, is to use to predict the diabetes. The main idea is to predict the diabetes cases and to find the factors responsible for diabetes using data mining methods. The proposed framework uh, focuses on integrating clustering and classification. This integrated technique of clustering and classification gives a promising classification report with utmost accuracy rate. Now let me discuss about the impact of our process. Data mining is defined as a sifting through very large amounts of data for the useful information. Some of the most important and popular data mining techniques are association rules, classification, clustering, prediction, and sequential patterns. Data mining techniques are used for a variety of applications. In healthcare industry, data mining plays an important role for predicting diabetes. For the routine basis, number of tests should be required from the patient. But using data mining technique, the number of tests should be reduced. This reduced test plays an important role in time and performance. This technique has an advantages and disadvantages. This research paper analyzes how data mining techniques are used for predicting different types of diseases. This paper reviewed the research paper which mainly concentrated on predicting diseases. Insulin is one of the most important hormones in the body. It aids the body in converting sugar, starches and other food items into the energy needed for the body. However, if the body does not produce or properly use insulin, the remnant amount of sugar will be given out by urination. This is referred to as the diabetes. The cause of diabetes is a mystery, although obesity and lack of excess appear to possibly be a significant role. In nearly the ability to diagnose diabetes plays an important role for the patient's treatment process. This paper will be the new approach called the homogeneity based algorithm. To determine optimally control the over 50 and over generalization behavior of classification on the data set called FEMA dying in diapathic data set. The HPA is used in conjunction with classification approaches such as support vector machine decision key to enact classification accuracy. Uh, HP is over 50 and over generation classification behavior. For this we go for neighbor classification for classifying the insider. The main advantage of this process is to indicate that proposed approach significantly outperforms the current approach. It is very important both for accurately treating diabetes and also for the data mining community in general. <coughs> Now let me discuss about the data flow diagram of our process. First we have to collect the input data set. Our input is FEMA Indian Diabetes data set. After we collect the data set, we have to load the data set into the database. <coughs> After we load the data set, we are going to partition the data set by using the password in the data set. After that we have to uh, normalize the data set. Uh, and then in that we have, uh, uh, we have, we are calculating the mean and trend division for identifying the neighborhood relationships of, relationship of object. After that, we classify the data set by using new big classification algorithm. Here we are going to predict some decision values. By using that values, here we are going to predict the diabetes. Diabetes prediction uh, is uh, based on by using the attribute the insulin level, serum level, in, uh, like that. By using that level, in the, by using that attribute in the data set, we are going to compare with the uh, um, data set. After we uh, compare that we are going to predict the normal uh, normal data in the data set and affected data in the data set. This is a data flow diagram of our process. Now let me discuss about the complete demo of our process. First we have to run form.java. Our title is prediction of diabetes because using attribute selection method, just click that frame. So click browse button, uh, directly to my Indian diabetes data set. Then load data put into the database, then click next button. 
here we are uh, using our data from database to do for the attributes in the data the number of times pregnant plasma glucose content data level diagnostic blood pressure level insulin level uh, serum insulin level body mass index and then uh, diabetes pedigree function age data from attributes in the uh, pima in the diabetes data set then click next button here we are classifying the data set by using the class variables malignant and the benignant in that the data set then click next button here we are selecting the attributes in the data set the attributes in the data set the number of times pregnant plasma glucose content data diastolic blood pressure skin food thickness the insulin body mass index pedigree function age and class variable with all the attributes in the pima indian database uh, diabetes data set then click next button here we are calculating the mean and standard deviation then click normal to table data has been class this is very normal right? here we are uh, getting the training data then click next button here we are applying the calculating show class codes by using the class variable here we are to the values then click new base here we are implementing the new base that will code them mm, then click next button here we are uh, calculating the matrix information gain entropy and gain values and click classify then after in the prediction button here we are going to get the bhp level <coughs> normal level high level and uh, low level peoples of and the data set then blood pressure level based upon group level here we are calculating the normal level high level low level then here we are calculating the glucose level then here uh, we are calculating the diabetes prediction by using that levels we are going to predict uh, normal data and then abnormal data in that data set that will be displayed here then click classify then click evaluate so here we are evaluating the database and algorithm and svm uh, by using uh, time efficiency <coughs> this is the complete uh, demo of a process thank you for watching